got to stay out of the light, Bubba. <laughs> Look at her. She's killing me. By your pants. That's uh, interesting. Yep. How'd she even... She came out of her, out of her uh, tub. She's ferocious. Yeah. Daddy had the freaking tongs and not the hook like I should have, so. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and go check out our Instagram pages where I post daily original photos of our life, our animals, and everything in between. So today's video is going to be kind of a little bit of everything. We're going to talk about some updates, some things that have been going on, some things that haven't been going quite our way, and then we are going to jump into feeding our lizards. So I haven't shown feeding them in a while, so today we are going to go ahead and feed them and show you guys now things kind of got crazy if you didn't see our last video i'll put it up here somewhere um i didn't do a video last week i was spending time with family and i've been doing a lot of building around our house i've been building my kids bunk beds we've been trying to get our house more set up so we can work on our reptile room so because of the major wins that we had and just because of some other family things i have put my focus into building those things for my kids. Um, my husband and I have to build our bed still because we left all of those things behind when we moved to Alaska. It costs a lot of money to ship all those things up here. So we left a lot of our bulky furniture behind. So before I can actually put time and effort into building these epic reptile cages, I actually needed to build our beds first. Uh, for one, our bed needed to be built because we are building something custom for our black roughneck monitors. And in order to create that space, I have to build other things before I can start on that. Um, the same goes for our reptile room. Uh, my husband was a commercial truck driver. He is no longer a commercial truck driver anymore, but he was always gone from home and I need help with that. Um, the reptile room is going to be a huge construction project that requires a lot of assistance from him. Uh, there's a lot of things that I can't do by myself when it comes to a big build like that. Um, so he is finally home. So I'm hoping we can start working on that here in the next week or two. But first we had to get those other things done and then we are going to start working on our black rough next cage and we will be showing that on the channel. So like I said, my husband was a commercial truck driver. He drove in what the Alaskans call the lower 48 states. He drove all around there and he wasn't home very much. Now, I am so proud of him and so glad that he is finally home. He got a job where he's gonna be permanently in Alaska now. So that means more time at home to be able to complete some of these epic projects. It is so awesome. He made a complete career change. So that is so awesome. He is super excited and I am super excited that he gets to be home now with us more on a regular basis. And now he can be home to share a lot of um, our breeding projects and do a lot of those builds that I need help from him to complete. So probably next week, I am gonna be doing an update on how our rat colony is doing. There have been some unexpected things, some setbacks, and I'm gonna go over all of that probably in a video that I will post on Wednesday. We'll kind of have to see how things go. So let's go check out some of our babies, kind of do an update on some of our hatchlings, maybe what they look like now versus when they hatch. And then we're gonna go right into feeding our lizards. So Tiger Lily is one that everybody likes. So this girl is a Mojave orange dream visual clown that we produced this last season. She was one of our holdbacks. We sold her sister who was a Mojave clown. She has a lot of those oranges that are still very, very bright. She is absolutely beautiful. Love her teardrops from that Mojave gene. Such a beautiful snake. She is growing nicely. She eats very, very well for us. So hopefully in about a year and a half, we will get to see what she does paired with, who knows, we'll see what male we're gonna pair with her. No idea yet. Absolutely beautiful snake. All right, let's go ahead and put you back and let's grab your sister. All right, so the sister, we actually got quite a few females from this clutch. 
What's up, girl? This girl was probably one of the smallest in the clutch. But she is a beast of an eater. As you can tell, also a visual clown. Now this girl, her colors have kind of faded a little bit, especially on her dorsal, but she is believed to be a pastel orange dream Mojave. So just like the last girl, but with pastel in it. So the lighting's not really picking it up, but on her dorsal, it's got an orange tint to it. And then of course the pastel gives him that little bit lighter head and kind of washes out a little bit of the color. But then she also has, let's see if I can get her turned around with one hand, those teardrops, just like her sister's. So, and a lot of people just look at this at first glance and think it is a pastel clown, but we actually have a pastel clown and you can definitely tell she is quite different than he is. So can't wait to see what she does in the future. We have no idea what we're pairing with these girls. We just know they're beautiful and these are our whole backs. All right, let's see what else we got. Now, this other one that we produced this girl is still looking amazing. She has lost a lot of the pink tones. Oh, you're gonna hiss? She's getting a lot more orange. This girl is believed to be a pastel, black pastel mahogany banana. And with all of that mix, she really hasn't gotten too many spots. She's got a few right there from the banana. But I have not seen another snake that looks like this. It's kind of crazy. Don't you dare bite me. These girls are all ready to eat again. Here, let's set you on the floor. But yeah, still absolutely beautiful snake. The mahogany with the black pastel seems to wash out a lot of the pattern and have this nice vibrant dorsal stripe where are you going here let's curl you up like a donut so we've noticed that with some of our other boys that don't have the banana in it and even towards the tail as they get older they seem to wash out like this in the back there's absolutely almost no pattern right here almost like a ringer but it's not a ringer So it's kind of crazy. And then obviously because she's banana, she's very, very yellow. Girl, you are really hard. This one is squirmy. So absolutely beautiful girl growing nicely. Has a nice white belly. All right, let's put you back. Let's see what one of your brothers looks like without the, without the banana in it. All right, let's see one of her brothers. All of these are like super hissy. But this is one of her brothers. Let's see, we have one more of these as well. And here is another one. Very beautiful snake. See the pattern toward, washes out towards the bottom. Let's see if we can show you guys. Yeah, I know this one just shed. This one doesn't have as much washout as some of the other ones. All right, here's one of the other ones that we produced this season. And you can kind of see the washout a little bit right here, if I can get it in the frame. So you can kind of see it starting. This one is a little bit younger. As they start getting older, they start getting more and more of that washed out and he's taking the camera. But see, it's already started to wash out. As he gets older, it'll probably create that same ringer as some of the other ones. Where are you? Nobody wants to cooperate today. Goodness gracious. Everybody's like, see ya. But this one has a little bit more of the blushing on top. Very, very beautiful. 
And if anybody's interested in these boys, all of these boys are for sale. I have to update the website still. I'm waiting to hear back on some things um, so we can start selling in the state of Alaska. All right, so let's go ahead and put this one back. I want to show you a few other girls from our very first clutch ever. All right, guys. Well, this is one of the girls from our very first clutch ever. She's starting to look more and more like her daddy. She has that orange spot on her head, orange blushings on the back of her jawline, and then look at all of these spots. Now this girl is a banana black pastel mahogany, just like daddy. And she, except for getting some spots, she really hasn't lost any of her color. She still looks just as good as the day she hatched. Absolutely beautiful girl love her pattern all right so the last one i'm going to show today is this girl this is the sibling of the one i just showed you a little bit different expression of the same exact genes at first maybe we thought she was missing the mahogany but she has these crazy patterns and colors as well just a little bit different expression now each snake is an individual so no two are going to be alike and their patterns and different little spots are all unique to each individual so again another great expression of the same genes love these patterns it's an absolutely beautiful girl okay so now that you've seen an update on some of our snakes we are pairing we are breeding so we will have babies in the spring i'm hoping we'll have a lot more babies than we did last season um we only got what five six clutches last season we have one cooking and that one should be able to cut next week. So that should be super exciting. Uh, we did end up losing two of those eggs. The two from the last video, we did end up losing. They, it, Unfortunately, it just, none of this was on our side. First, we didn't know we were gonna have a clutch. Tried to get them in the incubator as fast as possible. And then we had severe power outages that we tried to keep up with, with warmth and temp. And it was just too much for those. They were struggling to begin with and it was just too much. So we have, what do we have? Five or six good eggs in there. So we're hoping to get some epic combos out of that, some epic clown combos. So that'll be super exciting for next week. So let's go ahead and watch our lizards eat.
All right, guys, well, that is it for today's video. Of course, we will keep you updated on all of our projects, our breeding projects, our epic adventure now in the state of Alaska. I'm gonna keep saying that probably all year because I am super excited to be here. It's been a lifelong dream. We're probably gonna be doing sit down videos kind of explaining why we wanted to move to Alaska and kind of our journey to get here uh, that extends way back uh, several, several years back. So there's a lot that kind of went into this move. There's a lot that went into everything that we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, I am going to be going over some business aspects. It is tax season. Uh, so I am going to be going over how to do business taxes and some other things related to forming a business around breeding up in the next couple months as we kind of get everything reestablished. So stay tuned, subscribe for those videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay sane, get out there and make your own footprints.